Oh yeah, so this is my primary pump. So as much as I do reach for the portable LV, um, you do want a hospital grade one because that will really get the most milk out. So this one is probably the one that was recommended to me the most. It's the Spectra, I believe S2. It's the newer model where it's portable. So you don't need to be plugged into the wall. Um, the charger is here, but it works uncharged. I mean, it works away from the charger. And then it's just pretty easy. A few, you have buttons here to alter the cycle and the vacuum. It has a nice light feature. So at nighttime, if you need that there, it has a compartment for um, your drink because part of breastfeeding to keep your supply up. You really want to stay hydrated. So it's a nice compartment for you to put something there. Um, what I like is that Amazon, they also sell replacement parts like for the LV. So you have right here, they sell all the replacements that you need. If you ever, I don't even know what they're called. The valves, but no, they're these, actually just like a silicone diaphragm. <laughs> so they go back and forth, but sometimes they'll get But they bigger. wear out because it depends how much you pump, but you're going to have to replace them eventually. They should last at least two, three months, but it really depends how often you pump. I haven't had to replace them yet, and I've been pumping for like a month and a half, but I'm getting close. Can you hear me that? This one? So these are... So this all comes with the Spectra kit. So it comes with the actual pump, the tubes, and then two of these that you pump into. And the flange, that is really the key. Ladies, you wanna make sure it's the right size. So just like the nipple insert, um, you can change the size of the flange and that will play a key role into how much milk you express. I personally, I bought the 21 millimeter off Amazon. The standard that the Spectra comes with is 24 and 28, but if you are smaller or larger, then you should really get the size that is most appropriate for you so that you can really get the most thing for your buck. Because if you're gonna be spending all that time pumping every two, three hours, um, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, then you wanna do it the most efficiently as possible because you wanna get as much sleep as you can. So I like that Amazon, they sell replacement parts, but also different size flanges. So you can test out which one works best for you. And then they also sell replacement of the duck bill valve. Funny name. Yeah, and all you have to do is click this here, yeah. and then it starts pulling the vacuum. Yep. Good to go. Pretty intuitive, I was really, I don't know why I was kind of nervous about the pumping process, but I was able to read the manual like one time and then get it. So if you have any more questions about pumping, um, I really found value in lactation consultants. So I actually spoke to some before I gave birth and then after I gave birth in the hospital, they had some in the hospital um, as a good resource and then at my pediatrician's office they had lactation consultants in-house too so the resources are out there check out YouTube I watch a lot of YouTube videos but I feel like the in-person consultations help the most because they can see how your baby's latching um, and just give you direct feedback and it was very helpful I feel like I was really nervous about the breastfeeding journey, but they made me feel a lot more at ease and a lot more confident. And it's helpful also for pain prevention because it's not the most comfortable process, but if you write, if you find the right lactation consultant, they can really direct you to how to do it the most comfortably. Was, it shouldn't really hurt. What was your biggest takeaway from the lactation consultant? I'd say the direct feedback about how our son was latching um because if you get too shallow of a latch so there's a difference between four milk and hind milk you really want them to get the hind milk a lot of times from what i've been told because it'll keep them full and satiated longer but with the four milk 
if their latch is too shallow, then that's gonna really affect the type of milk that they are getting. I'm not a professional, but that's just, I feel like the most helpful advice. So just adjusting how he was latching and that can affect how he's um, satiated the length of time.